What's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Gonna give you part two of this lesson just like I said I would. And it was from requests down on my request list there. So you can sign up down there and then upon confirmation you can respond with your request. So had a lot of requests lately for this part two. And I'm gonna break it down for you. Here we go. All right, so first, before we get into this, the slide stuff, I wanna show you um, the rhythm and the chords of the chorus. Really, we need uh, three chords. We're gonna play an F bar chord. And a C major bar chord right here. on the A string right there and we're going to play a minor chord, D minor. So we have F, back to C, now let's look at the, um, look at the rhythm. So we got to go like this, one, two, three, four, and. So we got one, two, three, four, and. One E and a two E and a three and a four and. Then, the downbeat of one is a rest. And a three and a four and one. See that? So watch. One E and a two E and a three E and a four and one. Two E and a three E and a four E and. So that downbeat is not the. It's not as anticipated. Watch. again. One E and a two E and a three and a four and one. Two E and a three and a four and one E and a two E and a three and a four and The fourth one is one E and a two E and a three and instead of instead of the uh, after the four and it's after the three. Only on that fourth one. <laughs> Into that slide solo and, and the only thing going on during the slide solo is just D minor back to C, back up to D minor, so it's like... Let's get the slide out. Now you can... Uh, you can learn this without a slide. It's not too bad. Um, the first solo would be, and so that'd be uh, the the eighth fret to the fifth fret slide. Then five down to three. Three back up to five. Then five seven eight. And that's all you need. Now when you're using a slide and I say the 8th fret, you want to play your slide directly above the metal bracket, which you never do it when you're using your fingers for frets, but for slide you want it right above. If this is the 8th fret, you want it right above the, the metal fret of the 8th fret right here. 
and you don't press down. So a guitar with the strings a little bit higher off is better for slide, but I'm just going to show it to you on this guitar. And you just have to barely touch the string to get a tone. You don't want to press down onto the fretboard. So we got... Then... Okay, there's a second solo, and it's uh, longer than that one. I'm going to show it to you right now. At the next solo, I'll do it with the frets first. Tenth fret on the high E. To five. Then five to three. But then... Eight to five. So it looks like this. And so when you're using the slide, it'd be right above, right here. One more time with the slide. Okay, the second phrase, so that would be 10, 12, 8, 5, 8, 3, 8, 5, so check that out. Then, 10, 12, 13. start to kick the distortion up a bit and we're going to have 17th fret down a whole step back up to 12 then third side up to 13 to 10 one more time 17 slide to 15 17 12 13 10 check it out time. That phrase is ten, uh, eight to ten, then, then uh, ten to eight, so it's Notice the sliding though, pick and slide. So after you do the Same phrase as before, down to the five, then eight, three, eight, five. So from here.
that's going to be 7, 9, 7 slide. So, up to 12, and then you pick that 12 two more times. Then, a slide up to 14, oh, and that's 14 on the G, and you slide up to 14 on the D. So we've got... Slide, same technique. One more time, sorry, it's not, the, not perfect, but. Just like that. Then we need. Which is the same thing we did, but two octaves lower. It's lower sounding, so it's. From 12, uh, 12 to 14 slide to 10, then 10 to 12 slide to 7, all on the D string. So from here. Last phrase, 14 on the G, and then 13, 12 on the high E, then 8, 10. So check it out. Up to 8, from 5 to 8. 